I'm not named in the hat, so if people are, and the speakers are okay, we'll perhaps go on one end of the table and work our way across just five minutes. Uh, and then there's lots of opportunities for questions uh, and contributions. But perhaps if I can ask, I think we might have to introduce ourselves and take a start that. Thank you. 
was financing Kathy, and this is at the heart of the, the current housing crisis. Um, we as a party are already uh, a party of action. In 2012, we occupied five council houses and presented their sales. We, we persuaded the council to drop its policy of selling unwanted social housing and instead to refurbish them. Um, when there are over 8,000 people on the waiting list, and it was 17,000, um, people are being cut from the list. It was an outrage that the council, in the first place, were going to sell off this, this housing. Um, if we were elected, we would go further with this. We would take that control over council housing and bring maintenance back in house, just like it used to be. Um, we would also demand all new bills must be council built and run through in house building work and housing departments. New bills would not be sold to offshore speculators, and I'm sure we're all aware of convoy war and um, I've done a demonstration regarding that and that you know prime people's land um, it's already going through now and people from Deptford are not going to benefit at all from that, which I think is an absolute disgrace. Um, I have spoken to residents who adult children are living at home and there is no way, nowhere for them, there's no social housing, they can't afford the rent and they certainly can't afford to buy. Um, like you said David, uh, also Deptford, I believe it's just at the back of us, us is also being on the website, um, being offered uh, 400,000 for a two bedroom in Singapore. Again, I think this is uh, uh, it's unbelievable, to be honest with you. So, uh, the private sector rental, um, we would push forward the reintroduction of fair rent system and rent control. Um, this would prevent exploitation and ensure fairness to tenants and encourage good landlords. Uh, we would also, uh, license all private landlords through the council to ensure decent habitable homes. Habitable homes. Uh, this would strengthen the council's private sector housing agency and uphold tenants' rights to tackle illegal eviction and harassment. Um, finally, we would control the terms of the council on private leases, support leaseholders ensuring fair charges for repair, repairs to be in house and supervised by residents which would provide a system for leaseholders to take out fair loans to meet costs for payment. Um, as I say, just behind the projected project, 121 residential units. These are already for sale at 400,000. The council has given eight units which are affordable, um, and that's 80% of the market price, about 320,000. Well, to me, that's not very affordable for the local people. Um, in my opinion, we, you know, we're going to have such a divide now in, in Evelyn Ward. We're going to have very wealthy people on one side, and on the other side, not so wealthy people struggling. And I, I just don't think it's fair. And I, I think, you know, are we going to start creating sort of wealthy ghettos and, and, and mm -hmm. you know, Divided. <laughs> <laughs>